Welcome to the What Happens Next YouTube channel. What we're aiming to do with this channel is share content designed to make sure that you're supported through whatever's next in your life. And we'd love to continue to do that. I've got a favour to ask today and what I've asked you to do is just subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it really helps us deliver really good quality content on a consistent basis. Thank you and let's go on to the interview. And it's interesting when I have com conversations with my clients who have done well financially, have been successful in their career and get to a point where they go, is this it? Mm. When actually those high achievers have always been focused on that that element of well-being, which is the which is the work related, the intellectual yeah. intellectual and occupational well-being. And often, as you say, they've neglected potentially physical, potentially social, potentially like all of these other areas as, as part of their lives. Um, what's the right balance, though? What do you think the right balance is? Because, you know, I suppose it depends on the individual, right? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, when, when somebody has, um, when, when somebody's actually uh, completed a map profile, um, the first thing that I do is actually spend the minimum of half an hour with them going through or understanding, first of all, about them. Because at, at that point, Chris, all I'm seeing is a set of numbers. Um, and what the maps do is they ask, they help you to ask those why questions. Yeah. So if it's something like you've just described, you know, why has that been such a focus for you for 30 odd years of your life? Um, you know, it's like when people um, retire, you know, they've got this ideal plan of what they want to do uh, and then it doesn't necessarily materialise. And then that's where I also see it affecting their welfare and their their well-being. And, and what, the what challenge that, you've, yes, I suppose yeah. the challenge you've got is that element of how do you replace that motivation in that next chapter of your life if you're not getting yeah. it through work, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. especially if they've been right up there in that optimal, you know, 90 percent, 100 percenter and they've been driven by that so, so much. So yeah. I, it's very yes, it's it's very subjective because it depends on the story, I guess, that they tell me. Um, it depends on why they're doing a motivational map. Um, and that could be um, because they they had this feeling, I guess, that something's not right. Yeah. Um, but they, some people will be very clear about what's not right and other people are not so clear about it. And so either the map sort of reaffirms where they are, where they are at. <laughs>